Elite Boxing presents... Muay Thai has always been the one thing that inspired me most about Thai culture. Myself being half Thai and half Australian, I'm lucky to know both Western and Thai culture. It's a, a very, very different way of life in Thailand and Australia. Myself, I grew up in Australia. I was born and raised in Sydney and Cairns. Uh, lived there all my life. I finished high school there. Just a regular Aussie kid growing up in the uh, small town of Cairns. Uh, you know, enjoying the life of an Australian, enjoying sport, enjoying the culture, enjoying people, relaxing. But I also knew about the Thai culture from my mother. I used to come to Thailand every year. Uh, holidays, I have a lot of relatives here, I have a huge family here, and I also got to know Muay Thai during that time. After I finished high school, I did come to Thailand. I intended on coming for a short holiday, but ended up staying 15 years. I'm still here now, and uh, I love it. You don't want to leave. Thailand is a kind of place where you come for a bit, and, and once you get to know the people, you get to know the culture, you get to know what life really is about here. It's a wonderful place. It's a really good place. When I moved here 15 years ago, I didn't get straight into the Muay Thai industry. I barely knew what it was about. Uh, I did start working in the entertainment industry though. I started doing modeling, uh, sort of cat work, commercial work, and then I started on a singing career. I was in a few different singing companies and also hosted various TV shows, music shows. I was a uh, VJ for MTV Thailand and also a lot of other work and then I went into the, the acting sort of arena. The thing with Muay Thai about 10-15 years ago, uh, it seemed to be more popular overseas than in Thailand itself. Uh, my uncle is a, uh, a very, uh, very respected Muay Thai instructor in America. He was one of the first people to take Muay Thai to the U United States of America about 45 years ago. Uh, he's trained you know, so many uh, different stars, so many different sports teams there uh, about Muay Thai. And over there it's respected because it's not just a sport. It's more than a sport, it's, it's a culture, it's all about discipline, it's about respect, it's about uh, the conditioning, the different types of training that, that Muay Thai fighters go through to get to their, their, their peak level. So in Thailand it was always kind of looked down as, as, a, as a poor man's sport or, or a sport that People, you know, they know it's there, but they're not really proud of. That's changed in recent years. Um, with, the, with the newfound hype around Muay Thai that uh, elite boxing and, and Thai fight has sort of brought to, to the sport, it makes it more exciting and, and, and more fun to watch. They've, they've promoted it very well and they've made regular people or even, you know, high society in Thailand, they've made them proud of their own culture again, which is Muay Thai.
myself, I, you know, I've always been interested in Muay Thai. But once I got the opportunity to actually work in the, in the business, it was, a, it was a great moment for me. I was, I was very, very proud and very happy because it's something that I've always wanted to do. Uh, I thought that I could bring my, my sort of skills, my expertise from the entertainment industry into the sport, sort of to, to also build up the hype and, and get people more interested in it. I've always, I've always wanted to, to promote it and I've always wanted uh, friends and family who never really thought about trying it to, to get into Muay Thai because it's, uh, it can be fun, it can be very competitive of course, it can be brutal, it can be very violent, but it can also be a great fun sport, it can be a great exercise for people who want to lose weight, or people just, just want to have fun or they want to learn self-defense. So, uh, so I've really enjoyed, enjoyed my time doing that and all of that uh, work and all of that time and effort has sort of uh, ended up in me building this gym here. We, we train very hard here. Uh, we, we train professionals. I have a lot of uh, professional fighter friends who drop by and, and put on mini seminars or mini instructions from now and again. I, uh, I mean, people from, from San Chai, whether it's Sing Dam, uh, Sing Tong Noi, or, or any of these professional fighters, they, they drop by and they, they're keen to help out because they want people to have a real Muay Thai experience. Not just professionals, but, but also for amateurs, some people who, who they've never had a fight before and, and they want to do it the first time. Uh, they might be a little bit intimidated to go to other types of gyms, but uh, here we're, we're open to all sorts of customers. We've got some great facilities here. We've got a 80-room uh, hotel at the back here, True Star. Uh, we've got plenty of food and restaurants around the area, uh, very well located within Bangkok, and it's a close trip downtown for people who want to enjoy a little bit.